Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 24-year-old male with complaints of shoulder pain. He fell skiing, injured his shoulder, and I have lots of lines over here, but we can see that the humeral head is here. This is the glenoid, the cup that the humeral head sits and rotates in, part of the scapula, and I have a line that goes through the long axis of the scapula. Here's the scapula. So this line goes through here, and there's another line here that's 90 degrees to that perpendicular. So this is the angle that the glenoid should be, the articular surface should be about 90 degrees to this line. But we can see that the actual angle of the glenoid articular surface is off by a considerable amount. This is an angle of 22 degrees. Anything more than 7 degrees we call retroversion. And so it can be neutral or retroverted. And if it's just a little retroverted, not a big deal, but if it gets more like this, then it can cause instability because the humeral head can more easily shift backwards. That posterior part of the cup is not there. So on this view, we see there is a problem, and we see right back here what it is. This is the posterior labrum. The labrum is a little fibrocartilaginous band that wraps around the rim of this cup. We see the front of the labrum called the anterior labrum. This is the posterior labrum, and it is torn and stripped right off of the periosteum and this is the posterior joint capsule, this linear band that's still intact, the capsule, but it's stripped off the back of the scapula so we call this capsuloperiosteal stripping so it's stripped right off but it's still attached back here and it's holding on to that torn labral fragment there so this is a posterior labral tear with posterior capsule labral stripping this is an unusual location but when you see it back here and they have this retroversion of the glenoid articular surface, we think, uh-oh, this is a posterior shoulder dislocation where the shoulder went backwards, it sheared off this labral fragment, and stripped off the posterior joint capsule. Now we're going to look in the front to see if there's a bone bruise because when this gets dislocated, it then packed, and then jumped back to normal position. And we look up here and say, hmm, don't see anything up high. We come down here, and then on that view, we do see that there is an area of brightness here, this is a bone contusion of the anterior humeral head. So this did swing back here, impact, and came back into normal position, shearing off that labrum and stripping off the uh, periosteal or, or joint capsule from the periosteal attachment. And this is the opposite that we usually see. Most often when people dislocate, the shoulder will go anterior and inferior, and they get a bruise of the bone back here, and they get a tear of the labrum in front. So this is just the opposite, so we call it a reverse hill sax. It's a backwards dislocation with a posterior labral tear rather than a frontwards dislocation with an anterior inferior labral tear. So this is a case of a posterior dislocation with a posterior capsule labral injury here, a torn, uplifted labral fragment displaced but still is attached to the posterior joint capsule. So this is an unstable fragment. They're definitely going to need to go in there and fix this up. Thank you very much.